Today, we want to teach you how to put vegetables in water. This is a dish from the Guizhou province called su guado, or veggie gourds and beans. So, what you'll do is get a pot of water up to a boil and choose your vegetable. Most classic is a mix of green beans and a type of zucchini called xiao gua, but you could also use ordinary zucchini, broccoli, bitter melon, really whatever you got on hand that's hearty. So just toss in your vegetable of choice, beans and gourds first if using, boil three minutes for beans and gourds, 30 seconds for anything else, then shut off the heat, transfer over to a serving bowl together with the hot water, and let that naturally cool down. And just like that, your vegetables in water is done. Just a great side dish to go along with a bigger meal. Just take that vegetable out of the water and dip it in your awesome homemade Guizhou-style dipping sauce, which is, of course, the actual centerpiece of this dish. See, throughout Southwest China, and maybe even to a greater extent Southeast Asia, you tend to see these kinds of dishes again and again. Foods where the dipping sauce not only makes or breaks the dish, on some level, it is the dish. You can see it with the Doha Fans in Sichuan, grilled tofu in the Yunnan province, the Hani people's dipping sauce chicken, the Achang people's crossing the hands rice noodles, Thailand's Nam Prak Ong, Cambodia's famed fermented fish dip, the list goes on and on. And veggie gourds and beans is in that tradition. So today, we'll teach you three awesome dips for you to serve alongside your vegetables in water. First, a toasted chili and fermented tofu dip. That's the go-to for this in Guizhou. Second, a Western supermarket-friendly dip based off of the ever-so-popular Laogama chili crisp. And finally, a roast-pounded chili dip that might just be one of our personal favorites. So, in Guizhou, the dip that's basically synonymous with this dish is this toasted chili flake dip, which will predictably need some toasted chili flakes. Of course, if you were living in Guizhou, this would be exactly the type of thing that you could just, like, buy at your local market. But that's probably not an option for you, so let's make a batch real quick. So for this batch, we'll be using 15 grams of a cultivar of chili called Guizhou Longhorn. But cashmeres, arbols, or even cayennes would work just as well. Just snip them up into one-inch sections, toss them in a dry wok or pot, and toast them over a medium-low flame for about eight minutes, or until the chilies have deepened into a chestnut color, like so. Then just toss those in a mortar and pound them into flakes. And feel free to do this instead by pulsing in a blender if you prefer. So to make your sauce then, to a bowl, just toss in two tablespoons of your deeply toasted chili flakes, a quarter teaspoon Sichuan peppercorn powder, an eighth teaspoon each salt, sugar, and MSG, a teaspoon of soy sauce, one cube of fermented tofu, a clove's worth of minced garlic, a half centimeter's worth of minced ginger, 15 grams each of chopped scallion and cilantro, together with three tablespoons of your now cool vegetable liquid. Patiently mix that up for a minute or so till the herbs are good and wilted, and dipping sauce number one is done. Next up, our Western supermarket-friendly dip, which is based off of dip in Guizhou called Yola Jiao Jian Shui. To make it, you will need some Laogama chili sauce. Today, we'll be using their chili crisp, but most authentic would be opting for their hot chili in oil. Not much work to do here. Just mix together two tablespoons of the chili crisp, a teaspoon of soy sauce, a half teaspoon dark Chinese vinegar, and feel free to swap that for rice vinegar if you need, a quarter teaspoon salt, an eighth teaspoon MSG, a clove of minced garlic, 15 grams each chopped scallion and cilantro, an optional teaspoon of toasted sesame seeds for crunch, and three tablespoons of your now cool vegetable water. Give that another patient mix so that the herbs start to wilt, and with that, your yola jiao dip is also done. The final sauce then relies on roast pounded chilies. Now again, if you were in Guizhou, this is another thing that you could just like buy at the market, but it's easy enough to make at home as well. Here we've got 250 grams of a Chinese mild chili, which you could sub with poblanos or maybe even jalapenos. Just roast those in an oven at 190 centigrade for 30 minutes, then slice off the stems and mince the remainder into a good paste. Then to that paste, toss in a quarter teaspoon salt, an eighth teaspoon MSG, two teaspoons soy sauce, a teaspoon of dark Chinese vinegar, a clove of minced garlic, 10 grams of sliced scallions, two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil, and of course, three tablespoons of that vegetable water. Another good mix, and your very last dip is also done. Just a great way to eat vegetables and conveniently ready to devour in no time flat. So su guado, it's a very good dish to go alongside with a bigger meal and it's super convenient and easy to make. So what I usually do is that I will start boiling the vegetable at the beginning uh, of cooking process and then toss the vegetables in, shut off the heat, 
put it aside, let it cool down. And then I'll move on to other cooking steps like making the dipping sauce and other dishes. And when the whole meal is ready, you have this su guado that comes down to the perfect temperature and then you have everything else ready to eat. So right, check out the recipe in the description box. A big thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos.